for some reason that gave me always the best satisfaction. But, mm -hmm. uh, but you are right, sometimes it's overwhelming because you have no time for yourself and take care of yourself and I am drained, I know that. Yeah. yeah that Any <laughs> advice? Yeah, well I think sometimes you can't please everyone. You just can't. So sometimes you just really have to please yourself no matter how it impacts somebody yeah, else because maybe next week you can do it, maybe next year you can do it, but you really have to put yourself first. When I moved out of my marital home, I moved into my best friend's house. Out of nowhere, called her up, I'm in McDonald's parking lot, and I don't know what to do. And she's like, get over here. And me and my daughter stayed for, with her rent free for almost a full year. And I did that too. I love her dogs, I love her pets, she takes really good care of me, we're really good friends, and then she calls and goes, can you watch my dogs for 11 days? I actually can't. I want to, I can't. I have no idea how to figure out the logistics of taking enough toys for my daughter to her house for 11 days, getting all the groceries to her house for 11 days, doing all the travel, because she's quite a bit farther from my house than I am from my daughter's school. I'm like, I want to help you, I can't afford the gas to help you. Yeah. And it was really hard telling her, I can't do this for you. See, man, but she found somebody else. It's funny how yeah. she finds someone else when I say I can't. Okay. So sometimes saying no is, and, it, and maybe that's something too I know internally. Saying no is a loving gesture. It's a loving for her daughter. It's loving for her. And I like that you didn't just say yes out of, like, guilt. Well, I've been saying yes for the last, like, well, six months. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just yes. one of the, okay. I, I would say yes. Uh, no matter how much it, it would hurt me, I would say yes, because I, I would feel obligated. Yeah, I feel obligated too, but I can't. Yeah, I, I can't. Would, I would and when I told her what. the logistics that would be involved, she's yeah. like, I never really thought about how much you... I usually do it on the weekends. I go over there on a Friday night, I wake up at 8, get my daughter ready, she goes to her dad's for the day, I stay at my house half the day, I drive back to her house, let the dogs out, come back to my house and hang out, get my daughter, and I go back, and my daughter only has breakfast to deal with and about an hour before bed to deal with and that's all the entertainment I have to provide for her I cheat I bring her tablet so, but you it's know, not a stressor on the weekends as much but to right, have but it 11 days yeah that's I logistically can't pull it off I want to commend you for like just realize just realizing that hey this is going to be too much of a stress and I'm going to resent my friend and I'm going to be not such a great mom to my daughter blah 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 I think saying no is a way to be loving to yourself. No, I'm sorry. And you don't even owe anyone an explanation. I feel like, like I did because I, I know wanted to know why it was so hard on me. She, yeah, but but you don't. And and if it's a true friend, they'll understand. No, I'm I'm tired. No, you know I just can't. Well, score one for me next yeah, vacation. She's no. already got somebody else booked up. She's not <laughs> <Yeah>. even asking. <laughs> so what about what about time demands? How do we address that? <coughs> When you figure that one out, can you let us know? <laughs> I think, you know, prioritize. Like, what's most important, right? If it's <coughs> your children's events, if it's a work mandatory event, that might be a priority, right? Any tips for that? What do you do when there's time demands that you need to take care of yourself? Um, for me, anyway, with time, I'll, I'll use that excuse sometimes, but then when I think about it, 